Good morning. I'm uh, getting ready to drive into work. This is how we show up for work. My glasses constantly fog up. Um, today is the first day filming this new show that I'm working on, which is called Call Me Cat. And I thought I would give you a little bit of a tour of our first day. Um, it's very exciting. This is a show that I'm producing with Jim Parsons from Big Bang Theory. And um, I am playing a woman who's very unusual, who leaves her job as a math teacher to open a cat cafe. And um, this show is the American version of the BBC show Miranda about a woman who doesn't have it all, but still is really happy and living her best life. So welcome to day one of filming Call Me Cat. In order to get into work, we need to show um, our ID and like um, we take a questionnaire every day that says that we don't have COVID and that we haven't been exposed to anybody who might have COVID. So every morning we take this little, whoops, every morning we take this little quiz online and we have to show proof that we are cleared for work for the day. So that's what I'm doing now. Okay, I changed glasses because I had forgotten these here over the weekend. <laughs> um, this is my dressing room, it's not fancy. <laughs> Um, and I haven't decorated it yet. So there's this poster of, you know, three men pointing guns at me. It's from a show called The FBI, which aired from 1965 to 1974. Um, my room also has a desk, which is very exciting. This is where I do all my script stuff. Then I have a little bathroom situation. Look at this nice present they give you. Ooh, hand sanitizer and wipes and gloves. There's, this is where the clothes get hung that I have to wear. Have a little bathroom with a shower. Oh, there's also a toilet. Um, and then this is the couch area. That's the blanket because I nap at lunchtime. And that's really it, I haven't decorated yet. Um, I do have these things that my kids got me. This is Psyduck, which is the Pokemon that is my better half or my other self. My kids say that I'm Psyduck, I'm always anxious. And this is a strange little Japanese cat that my kids also got me. Um, that's my room so far. That's my dressing room. Welcome to my dressing room. Hello. Okay, so now I'm in hair and makeup and you might be thinking, you don't look that different than you did before hair and makeup. And you would be right because one of the neat things about this show that we're doing is we're trying to show um, kind of a real woman, just like a normal woman who doesn't do lots of fancy things with her hair and makeup um, and just kind of wears what she wants, like this cat shirt. Um, so that's the story and we're getting ready to start filming and it's very exciting. And I guess that's it for now, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this is me on set. I'm not supposed to show things. We've never filmed in this room. This is my bedroom and this is my closet and they're doing some lighting. So I have to be out of the way. That's why I'm standing over here. Okay, we're getting ready to start filming. <laughs> and then, I don't know. Oh, look, it's my chair. And we get a little podium where we keep all of our COVID supplies and our masks and our scripts. Okay, that's it. Gotta go to work. There's confetti in the first scene and we have to clean it up in between takes. Something you should know about me is that I'm a champion napper. I learned this skill from an ex-boyfriend years ago who was a world-class napping expert. And what I learned is that it really does make a big difference for me to be able to nap when there's an opportunity, but sometimes there's not an opportunity. Usually there's not an opportunity. And I discovered pretty late in life that I have the ability to go to sleep really anywhere, anytime. Um, I can even get like a 
seven minute power nap and feel really energized. It makes a huge difference for my mental health. I usually put on like a guided meditation. Um, I use that free app Insight Timer. This is not an ad for Insight Timer, but it might as well be. Um, and I just choose a guided meditation that's, you know, like for reducing stress or anxiety. And I take a nap and I set my clock to wake me up and I have a little sign outside my door that says napping. And it's extremely helpful um, for me having energy for the rest of the day. Great time to mention that on the topic of mental health, I am starting, I'm starting a podcast called Mind Bialik's Breakdown. And if you go to bialikbreakdown.com, you can um, be the first to learn when we launch. We're starting to record soon, like this week. Um, so go to bialikbreakdown.com, which is my quarantine project that I've been working towards. And um, yeah, things like napping are things that many of us don't know to learn and teach ourselves, same as meditation. And on this podcast, I'm gonna be talking about um, a lot of the aspects of mental health that many of us are not taught um, that can really change our general well being. So, on that note, go to bialikbreakdown.com and I'm gonna take a nap and I'll talk to you more later. Okay, so. It's been a long day and it's not over yet. Um, it's about five o'clock and we've filmed a lot of pages. I sang, there was a cat. Um, we've done a lot today and we have a lot to go. So um, typically we film with a live studio audience and because of COVID we cannot. So essentially we're filming kind of like it's a little movie, which means we film all day and there's no there's no writers on set. We have two of our producers who are our head writers and we have a handful of other producers from my company and from Jim Parsons company who are tested and allowed to be on stage, but it's very quiet and it's very difficult. Um, a lot of sitcom acting is dependent on timing based on laughs and based on what works for the audience. So. It's definitely a new way of learning how to do this kind of comedy, but it's been a really good first day and I'm hungry, I'm tired, um, and I'm glad that I napped at lunch. And I guess that's it. So continue to follow, subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber. And I look forward to sharing more about Call Me Cat and also my podcast, BialikBreakdown.com uh, if you wanna hear more about that. And that's it, I'll see you next time.